Hello and welcome back to this course. In our previous video, we have discussed about the filter output stream class, and in this video, we will discuss about the filter input stream class. So, in the hierarchy, you can see that filter input stream class is run at the third in the input stream child classes and filter input stream class has further two child classes which is buffered input stream and data input stream so in this video we will focus on the filter input stream class so let's see what is a filter input stream class in java so filter input stream class contains some other input stream which is used as its basic source of data possibly transforming the data along the way or providing additional functionality so this class basically provide some uh, further functionality or features of uh, reading data to the input stream so so basically filter input stream class extends the input stream class we know about that and now these are the methods that are present in the filter input stream class first of all we have the available method which is which returns the integer type value this method returns an estimate of the number of bytes that can be read from this input stream so this method basically returns the number of bytes that can be read from this input stream we have also discussed about this method in our previous videos next we have the close method again this method closes the input stream and release any system sources associated with the stream next we have the mark method this method marks the current position of the input stream so this is a, this is also a very helpful method in uh, filter input stream next we have the mark supported method this method tests if the input stream supports the mark and reset the method next we have the read method this method reads the next byte of the data from this input stream so this this method help us to read the data next we have the overloaded version of the read method this method reads up to the byte dot length bytes of data from this input stream into an array of bytes so if we want to read an array of bytes we use this uh, read method next we have the uh, another version of this read method in which we have uh, an array of byte type and uh, integer variable of and the integer variable length so this method basically read up to the length byte of data from this input stream into an array of bytes next we have the reset method this method repositions this stream to this position at the time the mark method was last called in the output stream we know that uh, the mark method basically marks the current position in the input stream so this method is associated with the mark this method reposition the stream to the position so whenever the mark is called uh, at that time this this method reposition the stream to the position at the time of the mark method was called next we have the skip method this method skips over and discards n bytes of data from this input stream so whenever we want to skip some bytes of data from the uh, file we use this skip method we know we know about this skip method as we have discussed about this method in our previous videos so these are the methods that are present in the filter input stream class i hope you understand now let's write our code on our NetBeans uh, to see that how filter input stream class works basically. So in our previous video we have write this code to write our data in the file using the filter output stream class. So I simply uh, remove these lines from here. Uh, this one. Okay. And I type here file input stream. Okay. Input stream. I type here fn Okay. And I import the file input stream class. Okay. And after that I type here filter input stream. And I type here filter equals to new new filter input stream and i type here 
uh, FM. Okay. And I import the filter input stream class like this. So now you can see the error. Filter input stream has protected access in filter input stream. So this is the protected in its class. So this is protected and we cannot use it here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use its child class, which is the buffered input stream. So I type here buffer and I import the buffered input stream class. We will discuss about the buffer input stream class in our next video. So now I type here int c equals to zero and I start a while loop here while c equals to filter dot read and I wrap it in parentheses not equal to minus one then simply print here system dot out dot print ln and print here simply c okay fn dot close and uh, filter dot close okay so now if i run my program you will see uh, java is everywhere so i simply type here print okay so now if I run my program, you will see Java is everywhere is printed on the screen now. So this is written in the file. We have read our data from the file. So in this way, we can use the filter input stream class in Java. I hope you understand. Anyhow, if you feel any problem by understanding these class, you can definitely ask me a question. I am always here to help you. So that's it for this video. I will see you in next video.